Hi, my name's Tom. I'd like to show you guys how to uh, install bolt-in lumps on your intake ports for the inline Chevy six-cylinder hits. This works on the 194, 230, 250, and the 292 heads. It's a simple add-on that can add some good performance to your engine. Works on stock engines, works on performance engines, uh, and everything in between. What you'll need is some bolt-in lumps. This is the High Flow brand. And what it's made to do is bolt into the head and it bolts into the port. There's one bolt that goes through the bottom of the head, holds the lump down, and what it does is it makes the air flow in a different direction through the head to hit the valves better and give you better combustion. Now just to go through a few steps with you to install these, the first thing you'll need is your, your stock head, and what I have here is a, a head that I've cut up in pieces, so you have part, part of the head, and it's a breakaway. And what we have here, you, some of the first tool you'll need is a hacksaw. I like to use a, a Milwaukee Sawzall with a metal blade. And when you go to cut your, I like to cut that bolt boss out of there, I will simply take the, the Sawzall and I'll cut in this mat, matter here and cut completely through that bolt boss, doing the same thing to the bottom side, and then you'll have a plug fall out. And just to show you, one thing you want to be careful when you are cutting through it, is take this Sawzall blade and do not go in there so far that you're hitting near the valve guide area. You only need to go through this area here and just let it kind of guide along there and you'll cut that out. So this is just a, a cut apart head for you to see. And then on the bottom side of the head, when you go to cut through it, do the same thing, being careful not to cut into this area here of the head. So keep your blade back, cut it off. Once that's done, I like to take a high-speed air grinder with a carbide bit, and I'll take that, and I'll grind this area smoother. It doesn't have to be ground into the head, just grind it smooth. So you're just trying to get rid of the old bolt boss and just get it smooth. Do the same thing to the top side of the head. So you'll have the top side of the head cut, and you'll just grind it smooth. You do not have to recess it. And you can see the top side of the head right here in this port right here. You can see how I've ground it smooth so it's not cut out. Okay, the next step you'll need to do is I like to use this set right here. You can buy this on eBay. It's called a counter bore set and it's used for counter sinking cap screws. This is a cap screw. This is the one you use to actually hold your head down uh, inside that bolt with the intake port boss there. I like to use this tool here and what it does, if you look at this hole right here, you'll, you'll come through the top of your head, which I don't show you right now. You'll actually take this top of your head and a mill works the best. A large drill press will work also, but it has to be able to go in low speed you'll actually insert this right through the head right there and go through this. This will give you the, the area you need to thread your hole for the plug and then you continue down through the head continue down through the head and all you want to do is spot face that and give yourself a flat surface. So you have to cut a little deeper on that side and shallower on this side and once it's flat that's what you need to, to set that head bolt on. It gives you a flat surface to seat it. So that's all you're trying to do with that. This is a half inch counter bore. Another tool you can use instead of a half inch counter bore is a 25, 30 seconds end mill. And that will do the same thing. It's just a little harder to align it to the center of the hole. And you'll just go through the hole, go all the way through, and do the same thing. You'll spot face that for that head bolt to, to rest on. There's those parts. The next thing you'll want to do with your head, I'll show you on this one here, you want to take your head bolt, we're going to mark the location, and you can see the lines I have drawn on here. You want to keep your bolt inside those lines. If you go outside of those lines, 
you can see here in this picture here you can hit water this is your water jacket and I don't know how well you can see that down there but there is water into this area of your head on both sides so what you want to do is keep your hole inside between those two lines and you'll be safe so what you do is you put your bolt on this side of the head the, the face side of your head the head surface where it touches the block and then you'll want to and the reason I lay that there is I use it for a reference to mark my bolt hole location and you, the bolt can go anywhere in between I don't like to put it in the middle I like to put it closer to the side and halfway between the edge of 